this is a Pokemon 151 Pokemon Center ETB. And in this video, I'm going to be opening it and hoping we can pack some good illustration art from the new 151 set. So let's crack it open and see what we can find. So first things first, the Pokemon Center ETB is no different to the original ETB. We have already opened the normal ETB, but we've done it in a one minute opening. If you want to see that, click up here and click that now and take a look. But yeah, there's no differences in the actual ETB designs, just the stuff you get in the ETB. We have the coins and status counters. These are the same. We have our good old energy brick, our frosted 151 sleeves, the 151 themed card dividers, which I think are a very nice design, just a bit bland on both sides, really. We have a code card to be used on TCG Live. If you redeem any of the codes throughout the video, let me know what you get in the comments down below. And then we have our Snorlax promo. This is the unstamped version. This is the one you get in the normal ETBs as well. But in the Pokemon Center ETBs, you get two promos. So there is the normal one. And then here is the promo for the Pokemon Center ETB. It's the same as the normal other promo. It just has the Pokemon Center stamp on the bottom right of the card. And then we've got a whopping great water packs to get into. Hopefully this ETB is going to be better than the one in my one minute opening. The one minute opening was a bit lackluster, but it's definitely a good set. The cards are beautiful. But we get into the first pack and we have our first code for you guys. Before we get into the pack, be sure to like the video and subscribe for more Pokemon content. We have pack openings, we have guides, we have Nuzlocks, we have all sorts of stuff on our channel. So go ahead, like the video and subscribe for more. But we kick off with a Fire Energy. And Pikachu is the first card we see. Farfetch'd Bird Gang, Shelter, Helix Fossil, or an Ivysaur, Slowbro, Machoke, Reverse Hollow Chansey, Reverse Hollow Graveler, and a Flareon Hollow. So you get a Hollow in every pack in this because it is a special set. But Flareon is a nice little pull. Ooh, there are some beautiful cards in 151, and I think the Zapdos EX has to be my chase card for the set. It is absolutely beautiful and I hope we can find it in all the product that we're going to open for 151. So here is one of the new additions that we get in 151. We have the Cosmofoil Energy Reverse Hollows and I really am a big fan of these. I got a fire type energy that has four swells on it already but this metal one also has a little swell here. So I'm a big fan of these. I really do like these. Diglett. Drowsy. Bulbasaur. Slowpoke, Victory Bell, Big Air Balloon, Primate, Reverse Hollow Vulpix, Reverse Hollow Growlithe, and then Hollow Marowak. So nothing from our first two packs. The pack luck is not with us, it seems, at the moment. I'm also quite upset that we don't get the Mass Master Ball Reverse Hollow. Now, I know that it's probably an exclusive thing to Japan because Japan gets special um, hollows for all their sets anyway. But it would have been nice for a set as big as 151. I also feel like the massive gap between the Japanese and English release just killed the hype off for 151 a little bit. Uh, Abra, Dugong, Hitmonchan, Seeking, Protective Goggles, Kadabra who makes his appearance back in the TCG, and then we get a full art trainer, Daisy's help. There we go. That's the sort of spice we needed from the opening. Daisy's help. Lovely pull. So there we go, not too bad, not too bad at all. Three packs in and we've got a full art. Now if we can just get some of the illustration rares, that would be great. I do also love the fact that all the evolution lines are designed by the same artist. So all the Jigglypuff, the Jigglypuff and Wigglytuff are done by the same artist. Star you and Starmie, same artist. I really think this is a nice little touch and it just makes the set feel a little bit more special. Ooh, reverse Moltres, reverse Tangela, <laughs> and we get our first EX of the video in Venusaur EX, one of the starters. I'm still not entirely sold. I'm still not entirely sold on the design of EX cards, but I'll happily take a Venusaur. Right, I, I've lost count of how many packs we've opened. Is that four packs now? So pack five, I think we're almost halfway through the ETB. You get 11 packs in a Pokemon Center ETB. So you do get spoiled a little bit. Oh, another reverse. Another uh, Cosmophore reverse. Is there any swells on this? I think I can see one. One half one up here, maybe. Not not as lucky as with the um, metal one, but Diglett again. Drowsy. Bulbasaur. 
Dratini, Butterfree, Lapras, Cycling Road, Rigid Band. Ooh, Illustration Red Dragon there. That is lovely. And then a Gyarados Hollow behind it. But let's have a look, closer look at that Dragon there. That is a lovely card. Cracking through these packs. So yeah, my chase card is the Zapdos EX from 151. What is your chase card from the set? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, we have just hit over 1,000 subscribers on the channel recently, so thank you all for that. And thank you for all everyone who has watched me in these last couple of years making Pokemon card content or making Pokemon content in general. It really does mean a lot that I've hit 1,000 and I will be doing a little special later on in the year, just a couple, I've got to plan it all out or I've got something in mind and there will be a special giveaway as well. So be sure to like the video and subscribe and keep an eye out for that. There'll be news on that shortly. But into this pack we have Dome Fossil, Metapod, and then Hollow Moltres. Okay, very nice. Five packs left, so we're over halfway through this ETB. Hopefully, we've still got another little bit of spice. Hopefully, we might even see a God Pack, or half a God Pack as they are in English, really, because you get three cards instead of all the cards. But we have Psychic Energy, Growlithe, Geodude, Jigglypuff, Staryu, Scyther, ooh, Charmeleon, Parasect, Reverse Hollow Pidgey, Reverse Hollow Grimer, and then Hollow Raichu. There's quite a lot of Hollows in this set, actually, isn't there? With obviously every pack being a guaranteed Hollow. Um, it does make me wonder what they're going to do for special sets in the future, because obviously every pack in Scarlet and Violet era is a guaranteed Hollow. And the Hollow special treatment used to be just be for special sets. But they haven't done anything different for 151, which does make me wonder if they're not going to do it for special sets going forward. But Doug Trio, oh Haunter, Caterpie, Jigglypuff. Oh, I love this Aerodactyl art. That is a great art from Shinji Kanda. Lovely. And the fact it's a hollow it makes it even better. Right, three packs left. Can we get something a bit more special in these last three packs? Ideally, I would love another illustration rare, but I'll happily take another EX or even a full art. But, oh, Char we start Charmander, Spearow Bird Gang, Bellsprout, Magikarp, Cloyster, Giovanni's Charisma, Rhydon, oh, Akira Eagle, or Reverse Hollow Mewtwo, Reverse Hollow Magneton, and then an Omastar as well, which I really do love the look of. If my camera would focus. And I do really love the look of this Omar Star. And then two packs left. Penultimate pack. There's quite a lot of variety of hollows in the set, which I do like because one of my biggest criticisms of the Scarlet and Violet set so far is that there's only been about eight or nine hollows. And you just seem to get the same cards over and over again. But in 151, there does seem to be a big variety. And we've hit another reverse hollow energy. This time it's fighting energy. But we have a little swirl down here. No more than that, though. Just the one. Uh, Clefairy. Machop. Porygon. Electabuzz. Hitmonlee. Wild, beautiful water to art. Hypno. Pony Tucker. Come on, give us an illustration. Reverse Hollow Meowth. And then a cheeky little ditto hiding in a rock. Cheeky little boy. I'm sad there's no Peely Dittos in this set. A Peely Ditto would have been nice. And then, final pack of the Pokemon Center ETB. Let's whip this open and then go through the pulls of the video. So, there is the final code of the video. Once again, if you get anything good in your packs, let me know what you get in the comments down below. No reverse energy this time. We have Oddish, Mankey, Meowth, Execute, Rigid Band, Nidorino, Executor. So, we get an evolution line. Reverse Hollow Haunter, only one illustration rare, and then a Hollow Dragonite. So yeah, not the best Pokemon Center ETB we could have had. So let's quickly go through all the pulls of the video. We have the Met Metal Energy, Fighting Energy, and Grass Energy reverses, which are really nice. We have Venusaur EX, Daisy's Help, Snorlax, Twice, and then the Dragonair, which I think is the best pull of the video. I really do love this Dragonair. 151 port rates don't seem that strong. Hopefully, it's just my bad luck. But, what's that? I cast that three big hits from 11 packs. That's worse than my normal ETB. 
tough times. But I've been Pigeon. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more Pokemon content. I've been Pigeon. Have a good day. I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.